most expensive thing that you did when you like when you got your money or, no, or not really no well i thought you were asking about that vacation dude i spent so much money on that fucking vacation like it's like <laughs> was that like the most let me tell you something yeah I, okay so from paris to san sebastian i got a fucking private fucking jet okay we didn't need one i got a private fucking jet and it was 30 grand okay mind you i get onto this fucking thing i, I get claustrophobic so brian my kids and my uh, now ex-girlfriend <laughs> are flying on this jet, and I'm sitting, sitting at the airport. I, I get off the damn plane, send them without me, wow. and I fly fucking coach. <laughs> <laughs> I get there nine hours later. They're telling me about San Sebastian. Jen, you got to see this. Look, thanks, guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's the um, dumbest shit you think you spent your money on? That was really stupid. I mean, the dumbest shit you can spend your money on is gambling, uh, but, but I fe- feel like I've learned how to win. <laughs> I feel like I've learned how to win in gambling now, though, so so it's all coming back. But as a true as a true degenerate would say, right? <laughs> um, no, I think the dumb. I, I think private error is is dumb, especially as I've discovered. If you're claustrophobic, it makes yeah. l- very little sense. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is not fun. Um, I dude, I like nice hotels, man. I I, I, I was just saying it because you were asking me about my kids. I really enjoyed staying at Le Bristol. We had the go- <laughs> we had the governor's suite, dude. That place was freaking nice, man. And I, it was a, it was cool. I'll re- I'll remember it forever. But I guess what I'm saying is my my kids did not give a shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, you know? I feel you. They'll remember it though. I and one day they'll so. look back and they'll be like, "Wow, that was cool." I think so, for sure. Yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then uh, maybe we could discuss a couple of uh, like funny stories like i love that story you tell about kevin durant can you tell that story again yeah so we're in the bahamas um kevin it's 2008 ish i'm assuming and uh i'm playing craps at the atlantis and uh there's this dude playing next to me at the craps table and i get hot on the craps table all right now when you're in the bahamas there's not, it's not like Vegas where there's a million gamblers. There's only so many people that are like craps players. So And no one plays during the day. It's nighttime. So 8 p.m. every night, go down to the craps table. So there's a finite amount of people playing. And if you're there on vacation, everyone's going down the same night, okay? At the same time each night. So the first night, I get this hot-ass freaking roll. And these two, like, younger African-American guys that are just giants, okay, are at the end of the table. And I'm on a hot roll, all right? And I keep winning, keep winning, keep winning. So for the rest of the trip, they want to find me where I'm at and play at, play at my table. All right, like, we're John at. We're John at. <laughs> Sounds right here. So they're coming over, okay? Now, I, can't, I start noticing people are coming up to this guy and uh, taking pictures with him and shit. And you could tell he's somebody who's like 6'10", and you could tell. And uh, finally, and it was next to me one night at the Crips. I go, dude, hey, what's, what's your name, man? Or, or um, he, he goes, I thought he said Kenny. He said, he said Kevin, okay? It's, it's Kevin Durant. And um, I didn't know that. I, 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 he mumbled something. I thought he said Kenny. And then I go, well, who do you play for? And he says, <laughs> he says the Oklahoma City Thunder. Now, Oklahoma City was an expansion team of the NBA that year. The Seattle Sonics moved to Oklahoma City. I did not know this. I was not a basketball fucking guy. So I'm, <laughs> I'm like telling my girlfriend that I'm with. I'm like, he plays for some fucking minor league team. I don't know who the fuck this guy is. <laughs> so lo and behold, I end up finding out it's Kevin fucking Durant, who's a fucking NBA superstar. And, uh, and he, he was 19 years old at the damn time. And I got to tell you, man, I told that story on uh, Timmy Bounceback's uh, podcast, and they made a clip of it on social media. And uh, shit you fucking not, Kevin Durant fucking commented. He doesn't follow me. He doesn't follow Timmy. He fucking commented. You, he said something like, you were hot, bro. I needed you or something like that. I'm like, fuck yeah, dude. So it's kind of cool. He remembered the night. He remembered the night. Oh, that's fantastic. You know? That's fantastic. My, <laughs> I, I gotta tell you what. Anyone that goes to the Bahamas, like, go, if you don't go, go. Like, every time I'm in the Bahamas, there's somebody, oh, there, there's Kevin Durant. Oh, there's Michael Jordan. Oh, there's Post Malone. It's like every time I fucking go. No bullshit. No bullshit. You got to stay at the Atlantis or, uh, or Bahamar. If you stay at other places, you will not have that. But everywhere else you do. Noted. And what about Bob? Bob Mennery. Yeah. Yeah. We're doing a bunch of stuff with him. Like, how did that work? He's good, man. Bob's Bob's an interesting dude, man. He's um, you know, he's uh I think he kind of looks up to me as a um kind of like advisor or mentor, but 
at the same time, he doesn't listen to shit I say, so I don't really, really know. I don't really know how that works. Um, our, the nature of our relationship, he was on my podcast. We, we kind of hit it off. So the nature of our relationship was, it, this doesn't work if we're not friends. We, we, we became friends pretty quickly. I came out to Boston. We hung out all weekend and whatever. We definitely are the same kind of guys that, 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 that get along. And then I think Bob you know, saw, had a kind of a vision where, hey, man, you're the successful business people. He's a business person. You've had this kind of, Bob's had kind of this, a rough 12 months where he left the Full Send podcast and he's going through some lawsuits and, you know, he's maybe questioning a little bit his, um, I don't know, his business acumen and maybe a little bit, or, and he's trying to surround himself with, with people maybe he could learn from. And then for me, I'm trying to grow my social media and Bob could help me out there, obviously. So I think we kind of looked at it like a little bit of a trade back and forth there. Um, but it's kind of turned into he doesn't listen to my advice. And sometimes he tags me and I'm like, Bob, untag me. <laughs> so so I don't I don't know if uh I don't know if it's you know coming out is exactly how we want it to be, but but uh we, we get along. We talk probably twice a day. He's a good friend of mine. Nice, nice, yeah. nice. 